I'm going to tell you why I'm so excited about this very sorry little pile of ingredients here. Um, my mum taught me when I was very young that the wrinkliest of red peppers make the best roasted peppers because um, they're partially dehydrated already so it means that when you roast them up they're going to be even sweeter and lovelier. So when I see that I've got some in the vegetable bowl that are looking a little bit wrinkly like that I think brilliant I can make some something roasted with it. So I'm going to make mine with a, a very traditional dish that my mum would make quite often for us uh, with potatoes and onions. Um, I've got a sweet potato which she wouldn't have used but I love. I'm going to add that to the mix. A big um, baked potato, a red onion but a uh, white onion will do too. Some garlic, a couple of cloves of garlic. I've got some oregano, salt, Olive tapenade. If you haven't got olive tapenade and you've got some olives, then that would be good too. Uh, some extra virgin olive oil. Some um, balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar. It doesn't matter if it's not in a spray bottle like this. Just a little drizzle of that will need. And some passata. We're just going to use a little bit of that and then the rest of that can go in the fridge for another recipe. So here we go. So there we go, all the vegetables chopped. I'm just going to mix them all up. Like that. I've sliced the peppers lengthways because that's the way my mum always did it, but you can do it in big chunks if you like. And now I'm going to make the dressing. So in a little bowl, I'm going to put a couple of cloves of garlic. spoon of olive tapenade. If you haven't got olive tapenade, you can put some chopped olives in there. They give this lovely, deep, salty flavour that's really nice with this. I'm going to put in a heaped um, teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of molden sea salt. And then I'm going to pop in a couple of tablespoons of passata. Just give everything a good mix and then you want a couple of tablespoons of good olive oil. So when my mum made this she would normally throw in some uh, really good dried Italian sausage with fennel that my nonna or my uncle had made um, but you can't get that here so sometimes I'll throw in a bit of chorizo or maybe a bit of salami right at the end just to kind of recreate that lovely flavour. But it's really good without as well. So I'm just going to pour this on. And then you can use a spoon if you want, but the best way is just to get your hands in there and just make sure everything is covered. And then finally, a little drizzle or a spray of vinegar. If you haven't got balsamic, any kind of vinegar will do. Now this goes in the oven at 200 degrees. I'm going to put it in for 30 minutes initially, then have a look at it um, and see how we're doing. Sometimes it needs 45 minutes, sometimes it needs an hour, but we'll just see how it goes. After half an hour, I gave it a good shake around 
um, move things around and then put it back in for another 15 minutes and it's beautiful now, I've tested it, everything's tender, uh, it's got the most amazing smell. So I'm just going to put it onto this dish. So I've got some feta here, <clears throat> which is lovely. It's just salty and crumbly and just brings out the flavor of everything. And then for that final sweet and sour flavor, I just love a little bit of balsamic glaze over the top, just to finish it off. <clears throat> 